Hey, what's going on, folks? Welcome back to Build It With Smith. Well, we are here, ready to uh, restructure my city. And everybody is so sad. All of my, all of my people, my Sims are sad. So let's go ahead and get that out of the way. Everyone, leave in the comments how my population is so bad and how I'm a big tube tuber, but I don't have a lot of um, population. Get all those comments out there, and I know. This is because I am restructuring my city, as you can see. Now, I want to do something a little different. You guys have seen me rebuild my city uh, multiple times. And so this time, I want to come with a different kind of design. I want to have somewhat of a like an island. Uh, yeah, kind of like an island. Re really more of like a, uh, you know... New York, I don't think it's New York, but like maybe it's like Long Island or Manhattan or so. One of those places over there are kind of off, surrounded by water. Something like that. Anyway, I want to do that here today, and uh, it's time to do that. So I moved all of my buildings around. This is not in any way, shape, or form how everything is going to look. This is just where I place my buildings so that I can have a little room to work with. But we are going to start right here in this little epicenter. This is my, um, these are my different zones. Okay, so we have coverage for police check. And we have coverage for fire check. And then we have coverage for uh, that. So it appears that the fire is the only the only uh, one that's kind of out of whack and all of that so I don't know where really what we're going to do about that now let me see I want to draw I want to draw I want to draw a line or I mean I want I want to draw a road at right there where I believe the coverage for the fire ends now I could probably go probably go another probably go about right here stretch it out get uh, six spaces six spaces right here get six spaces in here let's pull that up again look at my fire and okay yeah so see I can fit another building right in here and that will also catch um, catch the coverage that it needs okay so let me see where I need to put the other side. All right, so looks like right about there. Zosh. Right about there is where. Uh, let's, let's try that again. So let's let's do another coverage check here. Okay, hospitals covered. Um, police covered. Least covered and that. So I could actually probably stretch my road out a little bit more here. Just because I can fit another building in this space. Now let's see how much. Let's just take a sample building here. Let's see how many buildings I can actually fit. One, two, three. So anyway, I could. Oh, wait. I think I. Let's see. One, two, three. And that would actually be four. So I can fit four Sim buildings in here. Just go ahead and delete this road. And there we go. So one more time, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do a check. I think I have my final little coverage area. And, you know, of course, I can add more buildings at a certain point in time. And it's just what it is, ladies and gentlemen, if you, if you don't know. The deluxe fire station, right? All the fire stations have a kind of um, an oblong shape um, uh, coverage area data layer it's what what the green is actually called it's called a data layer so you can see 10 by 12 22 by 22 but compared to the police it's different 12 by 12 just a more of a blocky deal and 24 by 24 so uh, so, so it's a little bit different when you're dealing with the fire station. That's why 
I have all my buildings in this particular shape. You can see the layout there. And I have other videos on that talking about uh, the different layouts for your service items. So you can check that out. But anyway, so yes, um, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and build around this uh, area. So um, let's get started. Now, me personally, I like to deal with the roads, things like that. Um, so let's see, what can I actually have here? Now this, like I said, I want it to kind of be, um, I'm not gonna do anything too fancy with the roads. I wanna just get my buildings in here and that sort of thing. You know, we may just do, may just do a blocky road like that. Let's see, how many, so we can fit two buildings in there. Oh, and I must have been kind of slightly off there with what I was doing. Let's see about, okay, so there's that, and then it's kind of Shinto. telling me that I can fit some more buildings in right here. And then we have a kind of an odd shape there. Kind of have an odd shape here. Okay, so... Uh, th this is the odd shape because it's uh, it's like a three three by three. See three by three. Lord show you three three by three. See three by three. So we'll have to figure something out with that. Fit a little building in there. Probably fit a building in here to get you some extra uh, population. I believe we do have those. Um, oh, I stored all my buildings. I forgot. But um. Just for the sake of different things, let me just show you. We go to, where is that under? I think it's under transportation. We grab any one of these buildings over here. See, that's that's what I mean. The three by three is gonna fit within there and add some population there. I might keep that there for now, just in case we need to do some more experimentation stuff like that all right so that's that now I want to go tough. ahead and bring this on over like I said uh, I don't want to normally if you watch my videos at any point in time I usually try to go all out do something different with the roads uh, not this time folks I want to just um, because now I actually work downtown uh, in the downtown area and I didn't notice that I did notice I said I did notice that a lot of the buildings and the streets and stuff like that are elongated like this. It's, a, it's a kind of boring, a little bit, could be. But um, anyway, I want to just point that out. All right, how about this time though? I don't know how this is going to look and everything. It's a road like this, perhaps. But the, then the other thing is, I could. Uh, I mean, this is okay, because there's different things you can do and everything like that. So you can fit some buildings up in here, going around here, have something different going on everywhere else. There's different types, of, there's different shapes of buildings in this game, and enough that I think that I can fill every slot that you got going on here. But um, with this layout, I want to add more things like landscape, trees, because I have a lot show you I have a lot of lakes I have 42 lakes in storage and then I have a lot of trees not quite as many trees but you know, I can always get more palm forests and whatnot wow did they really want me to pay 100 sim cash for this for this folks have they lost it have they lost it all? And 250 platinum coins for that? Come on! What is happening here? Okay, that's out of control. Oh, I have some messages. Let's see what we. Hi, Mayor. Uh, I mean, hi, Mayor. Yes, the Mayor season pass is about to end. Only a few more days. I completely missed the Mayor's pass this time. Uh, actually, I think I looked at it and really wasn't anything I was interested in and what I wanted to do here is all we're doing is we're just getting back to the old fashion 
city building. You know? Now, of course, you know, there's other games, PC games that are more, uh, have, a, have like a city building. This is more of a farming slash city building, which we all love. Nothing wrong with it. But um, sometimes you just want to get in and exercise your brain with the designs. Now, another thing I noticed about working downtown is there's one part of downtown, there's a lot of historic buildings, buildings that were built 50, 60, 70 years ago, and they're all in one place. And then there are the newer buildings that are elsewhere. Now, a lot of the older buildings are going to be more so in outside places like this. And so that's, that is what I want to emulate here. Now, I have some older buildings. Here they are, right? Oh, here they are right here. Let's go ahead and move them over. That's right. We're not going to waste any time here today and let's just grab some of these older buildings and let's see what and because this is traffic control here you want to make sure that you have enough space Where, here's one of those older buildings you have different levels and, and me personally I do like to kind of hand pick the kinds of buildings that I'm going to use I wonder which way. That's probably the way it's supposed to be turned. And with this one though, which way? This be turned? Maybe like that. I never know what is like the forward facing, and what's the backwards facing type of deal for these buildings. I really don't know. Like, is that facing forward or backwards? It's kind of odd. I guess though. When you think about it, I guess what they're meaning to do is to put the parking in front. So let's just go with that. Parking goes in front. And can we... See, and this one's just a little different. No, there we go. Parking in front. All right. So there's that. It, it kind of keeps the buildings close together. Like if there's a fire here, then that would be bad for the other buildings. There's quite a... There's not very many space between them. I think for safety purposes, we do want to put a little bit of space in between those buildings. All right, and maybe that's not how it was designed, but I think that for safety purposes, we go ahead and do that. Now, where is another one of the older buildings? I didn't really put my buildings in any sort of, um, any sort of, um, you know, order or anything like that. So I'm just making sure that here's some got older buildings all well, those are one type let me just get one of those smaller buildings all right well now that's just the thing for me is is i want you know things to look a certain way that's just me though you know when you're building a city i want things to look like they belong but I can't do that all the time. All right, so let's see. There's that. Took us about five minutes to arrange four buildings. Welcome to Sim City uh, so to build it with Smith, folks. That's what we do here. All right, so we've got a couple of smiles coming in. They're happy to be here. They're happy to be here. Now, what's this right here? Click on this. Transamericana. Cities across time. Oh, okay, let's explore the... Um, mayor's pass. See what we miss. Street football pitch. What's um? What is that? Football. Oh, they mean football. Sorry, sorry, folks that are not American. We we refer to football as you do as soccer, and apparently, uh, they're spelling. Football, which is a entirely different sport in soccer, as football. That makes sense. Okay, so that's a mistake there. Um, not a lot of houses here. You don't get another until you get up to eleven. What is this? The mate shop? Is that what that is? Can someone explain? What's that? It looks like. What's that at the front there? What's that? Uh, is that a pot or is that a drink with a? Looks like maybe some sort of a like a 
daiquiri shop. Maybe. I don't know. What's a mate shop? Someone inform me. What else? Fancy drinks hideout. Oh, so that's a beach item. That's pretty cool. Is that looks it's a little different when you bring it up. It looks a lot smaller. So what else did we miss on the mayor's pass? Oh, we missed a pyramid of quids song. And Oh, that's this is neat. Los Casadras. Cascadas. Los Casadas. <clears throat> Los Cascadas. Cascadas? I'm sure I messed it up. I'm sure I did. And look at this. A lot of these look... Um, and maybe it's just... They look a lot neater. The, the buildings look a lot cooler from this point. When you bring it up, it kind of shrinks down a little bit. I don't know how it actually looks on the map. But... The picture art for it looked real cool. So, you were able to get, um, as a last prize, 1,400 sim cash, which is pretty good. Apparently, you can buy 14 of those trees with that that they wanted to sell for 100 sim cash, which, personally, I think is ridiculous. Look at my sim cash. I only have 159. I'm not well invested. In the game, but let's go ahead and pop open uh, something here. Maybe we'll get. Nope. Oh, yeah. all right, never mind. Okay. All right. Moving right along. So let's now. Now that we're rolling, let's um, put some more buildings in here. Put some more buildings. Just kind of arrange these. However. I try not to I try not to have buildings that look similar in the same space. Now, do I have any more of those buildings? So these are a certain building type. These are your uh, I think these are the standard homes. So if you don't know, um, see these yellow built uh, well well let me explain it this way. It's the wealth forecast here. And so it tells you upgrading will result in a, a standard home, B, a premium home, or C, a luxurious home. Now, this is not necessarily the case right now because a lot of these buildings cannot be upgraded any longer. They are to their max capacity. But if I, for instance, had a building that was eligible for upgrade inside the yellow zone, and I'm talking about yellow like dandelion yellow, not this other golden yellow, if I was to have it in the standard zone, then upgrading that would result in a standard home. And the skins would be different. And of course, as an example, these are the premium homes. The more of the condos, more of the, you know, the folks doing generally well in life live here. Then you have these, which are more of like the lower income types. And then you have... Then you have, you have these, all those right there, which are the luxurious homes. And so you have different levels as well. Like for instance, luxurious homes, you just saw the max side, but this one right here is is uh, uh, still a luxurious home, but it hasn't maxed out yet. It still could take some more upgrades and things like that. But you all already knew that, right? You're here because you love SimCity and obviously, you know all these things okay already. Okay, so sorry to waste your time with that information. Okay, moving right along. Let's get some more. Was that all the buildings? Was that really all the buildings? That's all of the. I guess that was all of those kinds of buildings I had. I kind of felt like I should have had some more. All right, well, we'll. Uh, is that really all? Hmm, interesting. Okay, well that's one thing. Um, Alright, so now, what kind of other buildings do you need? Now, I want all my, all my shorter buildings here, you know? All the short buildings. And if I must have these buildings so close to each other, and they're exactly the same, meaning this one and this one, even though they're called something different, they look very similar. And I don't like to have very, very similar looking buildings right next to each other. That's kind of like a pet peeve of mine. So, um, now that that's out of the way, let's get some more 
of the shorter building types right over here. Now I could drop in, let's look for a specialization building to boost the population. So uh, let's see, what could this be? Our entertainment district perhaps? And we could have, what do we have here that would fit in? Baseball stadium would be kind of awkward at that point. Um, I know we have, let's see, a movie theater, a nightclub, all those buildings. Things accessible. We need something more suitable for this side of town. Um, we got a hotel. That hotel looks kind of dim a little bit. Oh, now look at this. So, as it turns out, there's actually, I wonder if we need to shrink this side, I wonder if we need to shrink this side, just to make it, or I mean, I guess we don't have to do that, we could, we could put another building in here, like a three, uh, let's see if we've got any buildings here, so this one is too big, uh, I think there is, let's see, that's the X base there. I think that there, almost, that one almost worked. There's, should be one that fits in here. What would this be, like a, a three by two? We may not have a three by two. I know all of these are three by threes. So, and what would make sense here? Let's go to the transportation. They have some oddly shaped deals there. How about the bus? The airplane hangar, almost. Um, let's see. Let's here, okay, that kind of works if you want to have those types of buildings there. Give you a little population boost up in there. Um, well, let's look at the rest of this. So, the rest of this, though, we can fit, just to make sure we can fit all the buildings that we need to. But it's kind of like... You know, I, mean, I don't think it's like a bad thing to go ahead and you just won't have... Well, let's see. Here's another part of it is what if we deleted this road? That should kind of actually solve the problem, wouldn't it? We can fit more, fit more in this space. Now, then you have an equally amount. So then, if that's the case... Can we move some of these over? No, that's still not, not going to be quite enough. Unless, unless we just make a row here of these kinds of buildings. And just have them all in a row, you know? Something like that. And that would be one row of buildings, and then... So something like that. that. That might be an option. And then have slightly taller buildings behind those. That might be something. And then, let's see here. Do we still have one, two? Yeah, so that, that will work. Okay, so that might be what we do here. Whoa, folks, we're going to pause right here and just uh, in this episode, apparently I just ran out of space on my iPad, so I got to go figure that out. But... Until next time, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can get notifications when we air upload the next episode. We'll be continuing to build my city. I'm glad you guys are here along for the ride. Peace out.